Hello everyone, this is SF Ninja and uh, I got into the California Superbike School for one day. I was going to sign up for a two day session but uh, the class was full so yesterday at lunchtime I got a phone call from the people here and they said that uh, a slot had opened up for me just for Saturday so I said sure I'll go and uh, here I am. We are at the streets of Willow. There goes some of the more advanced groups on their orientation laps. This is a very, very cool track from the looks of it. You look how much elevation change there is. It's quite exciting, actually. And you climb all the way up to that top of that hill there. You see the big turn, the horseshoe. Look at that funky bike. Check that out. So I'm on bike 11. The instructor's over there. So we started out, the, uh, the class starts out with a little lecture, and uh, they have a little they have this trailer here, and the trailer basically tells, uh, the trailer has all kinds of uh, food and whatnot in it. Let's go take a look. <clears throat> so you can see this is the trailer, the food trailer, and it's here throughout the day. Mmm, sugar cubes. Got hard boiled eggs. Some sort of, uh, apple tart or something. Some bread, bagels. Yep, it's all gone now. But anyway, I don't really like to eat very much before I go riding. I don't drink too much either. So I'll be riding the ZX-6R Ninja. It's one of their bikes. Centered tailpipe, it's always cool. Looks like it has some kind of gear indicator as well, which is really nice. Looks quite small, low to the ground. It looks like it'll be a very comfortable bike to ride actually. The tank, the gas tank is pretty wide. This definitely looks like a very fun track. The other track, which is over there, which is being used by some vintage motorcycle club or something, that's the 2.5 mile track, and it's only got, I think, nine turns, whereas this one has uh, a lot more, like 12 turns or something like that. This one just definitely looks twistier on the map, if you look at it. And this one's a shorter track, too, so everything's a little bit tighter. It's a very nice training track. It's going to be a hot day out here in the middle of the desert. We're about uh, an hour north of L.A. here. So this is the place where I'd like to do some track days. There's like, uh, there's three places nearby. Two of them within an hour, or an hour and a half, I guess, if you're trailering a bike and going at the, uh, at the speed limit. Uh, in this school, you can actually bring your own bike. There's a lot of people's bikes over there. Got their own bikes, took off the mirrors, taped up everything. Where is my bike anyway? It was right there, it was a number 11. So. Okay, yeah, so what was I talking about? Yeah, I was talking about the, uh, the first classroom session. After you do all the registration, sign in. Is they do a little lecture and uh, they introduce everybody in the school, including the administrative people. And then there's a, a course. Uh, what do you call it? Flags. They, they show you uh, all the different colors of flags. What does yellow mean? Yellow means caution, but don't stop. 
the only time you stop is for the red flag or the black flag. Well, the red flag is the only time you ever stop, you know, on the track. Black flag means come in, they need to talk to you. Checkered flag means uh, session is over, come in. Uh, blue flag is uh, you made a writing error of some kind, you don't have to come in, but you can if you want them to explain it to you. Black flag is you have to come in because they want to talk to you. A little more serious than a blue. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's kind of interesting contrasting this with the, the Freddie Spencer School. This one uh, is a little slower paced in, at the very beginning. Like they, uh, you don't get overwhelmed. They're not throwing a ton of information at you. It's very, very simple. You only have to remember like a couple things. And it's not particularly, uh, uh, what is it? They're not like dumping a lot of technical how-to control information yet. So, that's the other class, the very special class. They really just load. I'm in the green group. That's the, the beginner group. So we learned about all the different colors of the flags that they're going to be using out there on the track. There's also the ambulance flag, which goes with the red flag at all times, and that means you have to stop. And they want you to stop on the main straight. They don't want you to go in the pit stop or whatever. Stop on the main straight so that the guy, the main guy, can count everybody off and make sure the track is clear. So that's the first part of it. Then uh, Keith Code shows up, and he uh, basically runs all the beginners through a lecture while the advanced people go off onto the track. And uh, mainly we're just emphasizing uh, throttle control and watching your speed and controlling your speed. No, no uh, lessons on trail braking just yet. So it's, it's more geared toward. It's definitely more geared towards uh, people who've never been on a track. They take it much slower than they did at the Freddie Spencer School. I guess it all depends on how you like to learn. I like to be bombarded with lots of information. I like to be told the how-to right away and just like programmed with the information. Some people, you know, they want it a little slower. And in fact, when I was at the Spencer School, I felt it was going a little too fast. I was getting overloaded. But by the end of the three days, I really picked things up. Right, now I'm going to have to dial things back a little bit again and do exactly what these instructors are telling me to do. There's always some guy in the class who must have uh, gone to the Spencer School or, or maybe he just, he's a more advanced rider who's required to take Level 1 because everyone who's taking the Superbike School the first time has to take Level 1. And he always has to bring up trail braking while Keith Code is talking about throttle control and setting your entry speed, blah, blah, blah. It's, and it's like, okay, dude, yeah, yeah, we know you're, you're great and cool and you trail break, blah, 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 but just sh shut up and do what they tell you to do. You know, most of the people, a good half of the people have never been on track. It's new to them. It's still pretty new to me. So I get kind of annoyed when people start talking about that crap. Especially when you come here full well knowing that it's not the trail breaking uh, school, or it's the Freddie Spencer School. It's all about trail braking and hanging off and body position and so forth. And a lot more. It's a lot more. It's learn by feel, learn by zen, rather than learn by doing exactly what we're telling you drill by drill. The drills always just feel a lot looser and quicker in the Spencer School. We're here they're telling us fourth gear all the way. Just use gas. No brakes. Now, that was pretty much the gist of it. So we're going to start with a throttle control drill. And I'm waiting for the announcement. All right, see you in a bit on the track.